from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, May the 6th, 2021. The 19-year-old Israeli teenager who was critically injured in a drive-by shooting terror attack in the West Bank Sunday evening has died of his injuries. Yehuda Gueta was from Jerusalem. He was studying at a yeshiva in Itamar and was waiting at a bus stop at the Tapuach Junction with two other students when a Palestinian terrorist pulled up and opened fire. One of the other students who was wounded seriously remains in the hospital. Shortly after Guetta's death was announced today, Israel security agency the Shin Bet said they found and arrested the Palestinian terrorist who carried out the shooting after a large-scale manhunt of several days. The 47-year-old terrorist is not believed to be affiliated with any Palestinian terror organizations. The Shin Bet said today that the PFLP terror group, the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, has been stealing millions of euros from European governments and aid organizations to fund their terror activities. The Shin Bet arrested four suspected leaders of the financial scheme, which included setting up non-governmental organizations to act as a front for the terror group using donated funds that were meant for humanitarian purposes to fund terror instead. Israel's foreign ministry is holding meetings about the issue, urging European governments not to donate to any organizations with PFLP ties. More incendiary balloons were sent from Gaza into southern Israel today, sparking six fires in the area. Fire service personnel were called to extinguish the blazes. Well, Yesh Atid party leader Yair Lapid gave his first speech this evening to the Israeli public since receiving the mandate from Israel's president, Reuven Rivlin, last night to form a government. Lapid said, from my first day in politics, this is my dream. This is the task of my life finding the common good. He said, we are not here to fight for the past, but for the future. Israel is tired, he said, of quarrels and stressed that this was the time for a unity government. Lapid said, the people of Israel look at their politicians and ask themselves, when will they stop fighting and go to work for us? And my answer is now. Israel's consulate in New York hosted an iftar dinner last night, the feast eaten after sunset during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. Acting Consul General of Israel in New York, Israel Nitzan, said this year's event is even more historic and joyous because of our distinguished guests, which included the Consul General of the United Arab Emirates in New York, Abdallah Shaheen, the Consul General of the Kingdom of Morocco in New York, Abdelkader Jamusi, and Consul General of Kosovo in New York, Frimazin Isuvai. Nitsan said thanks to the Abraham Accords forged by our nations and with the help of the United States, we are now officially at peace. More importantly, our friendship is opening new opportunities in not only the Middle East, he said, but in New York as well. Israel's Foreign Minister Gabi Ashkenazi also hosted an iftar meal last night with his counterparts from the Emirates and from Bahrain, Sheikh Abdullah Ben Ziyad and Abdul Latif Al Zayani, respectively, as well as with the first ever Emirati ambassador to Israel, Muhammad El Khaja. Ashkenazi wrote, Ramadan is a month of peace, and the last year has brought with it a ray of light for peace to the Middle East. al Khaja also attended an iftar meal earlier this week, hosted by President Rivlin at his residence in Jerusalem, who said of the ties between Muslims and Jews, we must do more to strengthen the belief that we are all connected to each other. We are not doomed to live together, but destined to do so.
Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, May the 6th at 7 o'clock. It's Talmud study at 8 o'clock. Shai Held of Machon Hadar, transgender activist Yiska Smith, and Central Synagogue Rabbi Stephanie Collin discuss the moral imperatives and responsibilities of Jewish people in America with Abigail Pogrebin from Limud 2017. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Rabbi Kenneth Brander on the Chaim. At 10, it's a panel on innovating the Jewish future, discussing challenges to Jewish life today and exploring how theology plays a role in mapping out approaches for creating the Jewish world we want to see. And coming up next, it's the ILTV's Insider. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, May the 6th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy. Stay well.